My friend said I'm a terrible cook, so I'm going to prove them wrong because I'm petty. Today I'm going to recreate Genshin dishes without a recipe. I've barely cooked before, but I've watched a ton of shows like Chop, MasterChef, and others when I was younger. So what could go wrong? To honor my main girl Yoimiya, we're going to start the series off with her signature dish, Summer Festival Fish, which is some sort of dongo. I've eaten dongo before, but honestly I have no idea what's in it. Can I just blend my rice at home? Just regular flour? Brownies! Yo, what is this devil spot? Power pancakes? I don't trust this demon kid. I'm going with my original plan. I'm just gonna use regular flour. Move your bags and take your seat. Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. That's our oh my god, I got the hype! That's our streamer! <laughs> I've seen TikToks before. They like pour the flour in, they make a well. <laughs> <laughs> we got some baking powder, you know, you just just wing it! Just wing it, man! <laughs> Add some no, salt. Uh, make sure we add some salt to make it rise. Yeah, salt, salt. <laughs> okay, okay, make that well. And then crack. <laughs> crack the egg in. <laughs> A nice little volcano for our egg. Slowly mix it. Oh sh were we supposed to separate the yolks and the what no. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine, but I think we just right it will thicken, you just gotta believe. You gotta give it some time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they just gotta fast forward like all the TikToks do. It's gonna take some time, but all the best things take time, okay? And I have like just a little sprinkle of water. Pour, 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 pour. Yeah, that's good. That looks good enough. Okay, we've got some moisture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Audience members, please be quiet! Dude! I want a taste! <laughs> Maybe this is the part where it's worked enough that we take our roy. <laughs> yeah, smack it. Oh my, look at him. I'm so <laughs> oh! Oh! I don't it's know what the. Maybe, maybe not yet. Maybe we, I think we crack another egg. Just, <laughs> shut up. Wait, we gotta make the well yeah, again. Yeah. It's very important. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 You know we gotta we gotta really, really oh. break that yolk apart, and then we fold it in. We gotta make sure we carry the air pockets. Oh. Explain your thought process of adding another egg. <laughs> <laughs> we were lacking the moisture. Egg is a binding agent. And look how binding this is. <laughs> Drizzle some flour on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just right into my hands. Yeah, I'll tell you when. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah, I swear how that yeah. flower is stuck in your head. Doesn't this take you back to when you're making chocolate chip cookies of your grandma? It's a, if it's a little bit too sticky like it is now, you just add more flour! Uh, yeah, yeah, more, 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 more flour. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, uh, from the top, from the top you drop it like a ball. I think I need more flour on the board. They always have flour on the board. More flour, please! More flour, Yeah, all down. over the board, all over the board, all over the- Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, wait! It's it's forming now. It's forming. See, the inside is ooey gooey sticky, while the outside is nice and moldable. It's around this part that you get your dough-like- <laughs> dough-like consistency, okay? And then we take out the f <laughs> the food coloring. All right, with, with food coloring, less is more. One drop of yellow. <laughs> Two drops of yellow. A little bit, a splash of red. We'll flavor it after we get the color we desire. Okay, now we just... Yeah, we just mix it. Mix, mix, mix. It might not look like the color's going in, but we need more colors in there, okay? That's exactly what we need. Yup. <laughs> Remember! Less is more. Yes, Shrek. Yes. Really just let our creativity flow here. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, you see that? That's a nice deep color we're looking for. Ooh, that's a nice vibrant color. Do you see that? I don't know. Whoa. Oh, it's bleeding, all right. Okay. <laughs> you like how orange is created by red and yellow? <laughs> I see it now. I see it now. 
picture. You see it, you see it. I might be colorblind. We got a nice. Don't. I need some more flour. Yes, yes. Dump it all on the floor. Dump it. Thank you, thank you. That's good. My kind sous chef. A round of applause for my sous chef. <laughs> less is more, less is more. We're on the verge of overneeding it. We want to season our dough, okay? We want to make sure it's not tasteless. What happened to the vanilla extract? <laughs> That's where I'm going. We're going to get the vanilla. <laughs> Chef, I think you need some flour on your holy pin. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. See, this is the dough-like consistency you want. It's like Play-Doh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to eat this. Mm, yummy. Good job. Yes, chef. Oh! <laughs> Vanilla is a very weak flavor, <laughs> as you cannot smell. It's everywhere. Now it's really soaking up. Let's um, let it aerate for a little bit, okay? Let's just let it have a nice... Um, I don't know, let it sit. Welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back! You wanna show them your drip? Oh, I am back with a new outfit! Alright, now that we have our general dough, we need some flavoring for it, okay? Let's go see what type of sugar and delight we have to add to our dongo. Chef, I thought it was vanilla what? flavor. No, no, no backseat, chef. Let chef, no special. Let him go! Now I got some really good Ice honey! Cream to pure honey. That's the good stuff, okay? Now I'm gonna take a little spoon, cause remember in this kitchen, less is more. <laughs> so we're gonna take a little spoonful of it. Now we just... <laughs> now we just slide it in here. Don't be shy to really, really get, get it in. That's why we change shirts again. Mmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we really work that in. Mm. <laughs> now we gotta make sure we mix, mix, mix. Mm -mm. <laughs> you see, when this goes into the oven, it's gonna create a nice little internal glaze. The sugar will coat it and it'll be beautiful. We're almost at the point where we need to make the signature koi fish shape. So it's a basic fish, it has tail fins, it's got bobbly eyes. I'm gonna take this knife right here, cut part of the dough. Now, some people might say we should rest it, but I'm gonna cut into three parts. You see these colors, these swirls? Exactly what I wanted. We're gonna use this part, work it together to get the main body shape, okay? This is where it becomes fun again. You can honestly get your children to help you with this too. Just roll into a ball, we don't want it too tall. But we also want it nice and round. In fact, I got a life hack for you guys. Take a cup right here. Creates a nice circle shape. <laughs> <laughs> Use the bottom of the cup to create a nice little circle shape. Which part is this, Chef? The body? This is gonna be the body, our base layer, okay? Mm, or actually, let's get the back part first. The tail fins. Little petals, okay? So you wanna just... Use your fingers and shape it. Really, really get that curve, like a teardrop. So, get your next piece. Now we're cooking! Okay, get our last one. Do the fine details at the end. Get some of that extra dough and really bind it together. <laughs> kind of like the nine-tailed fox, but it's a fish. Roll together some eyes. Look at this technique, you see? I'm using both palms of my hand. Friction, friction, friction. And now we need the, the dorsal fin. <laughs> We're almost done! <laughs> is that an octopus, chef? Perfect! He's perfect, chef! Yes, chef! Yes, chef! Yes, yes, chef! Yes, chef! Yes, chef! Yes, chef! Yes, chef! Now all we need to do is bake this bad boy up! We are going to get a baking tray and line with parchment paper as we preheat the oven. Heating the oven at... I don't know, man. 375, 400, 425. I'm doing 425. But you, you, you gotta, you gotta test your own waters. I'm gonna put in this thing. <laughs> I got this, like this, this thing that will make sure it doesn't stick. If you don't have this, you can use non-stick spray with some butter. The, the eye may have fell off, but it will bind together once we start the cooking process. We'll see you next time as 
once our thing preheats. Until then, you should always clean. So look at me, I'm putting lids away. Lightly and delicately transfer over our beautiful fish. I really piece by piece. It's okay if it breaks apart because you can just put it back together. Look at it go. Now delicately <laughs> place it down. Get that eyeball back in there. Use some of the extra dough you have to stretch and bind it together. That's looking fishtastic. Nemo would be proud. And this bad boy is gonna wait to be baked. Oh. I think that's okay. I think we, we just leave it like this. If it wants to sit there, it wants to sit there. We have a little bit of leftover dough. We can make some fun add-ons. I don't know. We're gonna just let my fingers mold the thing together. Chef, what are you making, chef? I just said let my hands do the talking. I am going to make the pyro symbol. Need some of the, some of this. Fiery. Nice. Can we have a side by side of the photos? Yes. I think I nailed it. Okay. Now we let that cook next to it. All right. Preheated oven. Gonna take this over. Safety's first. Got those. Gloves on. Um, I'm sure it can just go in the middle. Toss that in there. Yo, suffer knows it there in shell. Do I? Yeah. Does it matter if an empty pot's there? No. Where am I gonna put a hot pot? Yeah, I'm pumping the stove. Grab it in the pot. Putting it over here. Now we set the time. You know, your time and my time, we might have different times, so 25 minutes sounds like a good amount of time. See you in 25 minutes. Now that I think. Do you smell it? It smells delicious. What does it oh, smell like, like? What does it smell like? It smells mm, like fresh baked pastries from Chinatown. Oh, that up. First, first look. <laughs> Woo! Dango is soft and delicate and chewy. What we got here is something else. We can't tell until it cools down. It smells like fresh bread, kind of. Let it fly and sit here. The glaze, the glaze, the glaze. We already have the honey flavor in there. Now we got this, blueberry honey. Blueberry, blueberry honey, I don't know, can you see it? Blueberry honey. We take a tiny teaspoon. Take some of this honey. And you just drizzle it down. Mmm. Is that how you glaze, chef? <laughs> Again? Here, get some a little bit more plating. Let's do our first cut in. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like. <laughs> it's it's so hard. That's Dongo, right? Dongo. <laughs> <laughs> it's Joy <Jewish. laughs> Cheers, you guys should uh, cheers each other. Uh, Let me cut it in half. <laughs> mm, it's so I can't wait to break my teeth on these, chef. Cheers, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's my turn. I have the biggest piece. Cheers. <laughs> what does it smell like to you? Play-Doh. Yeah, it smells like Play-Doh. How's it taste? Give me your honest opinion. It kind of tastes like cardboard. Not much flavor. <laughs> but I really love how there's like a marble mm. inside to it. He's gonna <laughs> cry. He has tears in his You guys eyes. sign waivers, so if you have food poisoning, at least we're in Canada. <laughs> It's such a small bite and I'm still chewing. Explain that texture to us. It's like bread that didn't rise. It took the entire taste. It's so bad. It's very natural. No added sugar at all. I can tell it tastes like anything. Wait, this is looking like a goldfish? Yeah, uh, I guess feedback was uh, really Somehow so dry. It tastes like it's like a ration, like an army ration. Like you, it literally is like it's like you desiccated it so that it wouldn't like grow mold or something. Like that.
<laughs> that's what it tastes like, and it tastes like nothing. It, like it's it's incredibly devoid of flavor. Like you had to like, actually like have like, tried to make it not taste like it. This is what it was made on. Oh my. Oh god. That looks like Why does it look like yeah, like you bled yeah, on it. You, it's on like it. you smacked oatmeal on it and then bled on it. <laughs> what do you taste? What is it? It's not meat. It's flour. Yes. <laughs> no. No. You, can, you don't have to eat it all. She spat, she spat it. it out. No taste. No taste? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.